Today I have this canvas that measures 20 by 16 inches and I'm going to be using my Words Like Honey reusable mesh stencil. This is a 12 by 18 inch mesh stencil. And I'm gonna be cutting off the top that says, may your words be like honey. I'm gonna remove the white backing from the stencil so that I could adhere it to my canvas. Once I have it centered, I'm going to hold it down as the canvas is a rough texture so it does not adhere that well, but as long as you're holding it in place and it does not move, it will work fine. I'm going to be using some Grass is Always Greener. This is the Gel Art Ink, and I'm using that on the greenery. I'll be using the Metallic Gold Art Ink for the banner in the edge of the hexagon, and I'll also use it for the crown on the B as well. Now I'm just using this plastic art spreader that can be found on our webpage to spread this and I did cut it into three pieces just to make it a little smaller so it's easier for me to hit all the small areas. I'll be using the gel art ink in the color black for the B and for the words as well. Now the mesh stencils and all of the mediums for the mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And then I hit the last two greenery leaves with the grass is always greener. And then you're going to lift it. And you can see here that this really comes out very crisp. And, and be sure to clean that mesh stencil right away. Next I have these wall stick and peel stickers that you get from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to spray paint mine in a metallic gold. And once that is fully dry, I'm going to just cut out some of these clusters of the hexagon shape. They reminded me of the honeycomb. Now they do have other honeycomb shapes at the Dollar Tree as well. They have these small little wood magnets that you can use in place of the stickers. And I'm just randomly cutting different shapes out, different clusters of the hexagon. And you wanna make sure that the spray paint is fully dry so you don't see your fingerprints while um, handling these. I'm going to peel it from the backing. Now it is a sticker, but it did need a little stronger adhesive. So I'm just adding a small amount of hot glue. And I'm going to just place these randomly around the canvas, coming mostly out of the sides of the canvas. You could cut these as big or as small as you'd like, and you can really place them anywhere. I just thought this was an inexpensive way to dress up the remaining areas on the canvas. And I'll place the last one on the bottom right of the canvas and there we go. Now we have this really nice may your words be like honey wall decor. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com and don't forget you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.